What's up guys, this video is sponsored by The Beard Club. If you're ever wondering what kind of products I use, I use The Beard Club. I take that kit with me everywhere, especially when I'm traveling. Um, it comes with the beard oil, the beard balm, and the trimmer, the beard trimmer is what I use the most. That's what I always have in my kit. The beard oil to keep my skin nice and healthy underneath my beard. Um, my beard balm to keep my beard really nice and soft because there's nothing worse than having a rough scraggly beard. But also you got to catch those flyers on the road. So before I go in front of the camera, whether it's a podcast or filming content, I use the trimmer, clean it up, make sure it's all nice and neat um, and make sure my beard is looking good. So make sure you go check out the beard club, type in code word buck uh, to get a 20% discount on your first order. All right, guys. Wait, so we're starting this whole thing over again. I already deleted the other one. <laughs> I hate redoing stuff. Yeah, like, did you not know that about Kurt? Because you should know this. Right, we We've already lost the magic. I'm going to be silent for the first 10 minutes. In <laughs> <laughs> protest. <laughs> Fuck you, show Abel. <laughs> Individual that has what I would consider the heart, the gut, and the mind to be able to do our business. Do it. He calls it our business. Remember Sergeant Trout? And he always be like, everybody be quiet while I'm up here conducting business. <laughs> and those that? fucking formations. That dude was Trout a was psycho. That, that blonde psycho. Yeah, guy, man. Yeah, he was a weird dude. I think he'd been blowed up a couple times. Oh, for sure, man. That one guy there is like, Trout's killed more people than cancer. <laughs> 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 it's like, okay, he's still a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Trout's killed more people than you can't. <laughs> uh, man. He, dude, he was my class lead. Like, he was in charge of my class in the Q course. Trout. Yeah, me too. I was in that class. <laughs> That's why I'm talking about him. <laughs> we were in the class again, dumbass. Oh, dude, God. that was fucking terrible. It's like, this guy's a fucking psycho. You couldn't read him, dude. It no, not like, at all. I, I, everyone just thought he, he hated you. He'd call his formations and just walk back and forth. Yeah. He was like, fuck, what are we doing? Why is, is he, he, Oh, fuck, he's looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> is he mad at me? And then that's pretty much the name of the game here. There's no rank, no name. They're just a number. Everybody's equal. Everybody has the same stuff. Socks! Get him out of the bag. Unroll them. Roll them up. We sometimes see people trying to bring enhancements. Dude, I brought, I bought like $200 worth of socks before selection. I should have. All brand new Fox Rivers. Ooh, like, you were that guy. Oh, for sure, dude. I didn't, I was like, I'm not letting any kind of foot issues take me out. I didn't, and I went the cheap route and just bought the, like, the Army Green socks, and Ooh. I regretted the shit out of it. see? Over something stupid like that. Selection is run by a category of the Army's most experienced Green Berets. They're picking their replacements. Dude, what a shitty fucking camo pattern. They see you? Yeah, dude. Before I got in the Army, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. As soon as I got in the Army, I was like, this is fucking dumb. Yeah, what do you blend in with? A brick wall? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, like a pile of rocks. Like, whenever you're, like, doing any kind of movement through the woods, it's like, well, there's all the soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> Like we were saying before, we had to redo this whole section because Abel deleted it. <laughs> Did you ever get any fucking pep talks? Fuck no. Me either, dude. They there, weren't cool to me at all. There's no, none of that, man. The cadre were like, you want to be part of this brotherhood. It's like, no. It was like, hey, go suck today's dick. Yeah. And if Just you make around. it, cool, we'll see you tomorrow to suck tomorrow's dick. Yep. Just walk around their fucking notebooks and they'd look at you and start writing. You're like, what's he writing in that notebook? Yeah, dude. I told a joke. Like, one time they, they were pushing me in the apparatus. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm going to keep them entertained. So we started talking. I told a joke. It was raunchy as shit. I look over and I'm having a blast. I look over and the cadre's still dead in my fucking <laughs> eyes. And he looks at me like I'm the biggest piece of shit on the planet. And he goes. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck. He's probably like. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old school BCGs. Look at those. Just so crazy. BCGs are birth control glasses. <laughs> just so you know. Because they're so fucking hideous, you're not getting laid wearing those things. 
The new ones are the same. The newer ones are the, the just the black brown ones. ones right? The black ones. The thinner black ones. Because the before ones they had the no, those are the old brown ones. They phased those out in like 2013 or so. 2012. The green berets seem casual. Word, word, word. No, the they Green don't. Berets are casual. The cadre, oh, okay. the instructors. It's generally what they consider um, a gentleman's course, meaning it's like they're not yelling at you, except for right here, but they're not like yelling at you in your face. You put the pressure on yourself. Yep. And then they put you in a team environment so you guys could destroy each other. Yeah. That's what they call self-selecting. But it's the psychological act that always brings a class to its knees. You're going to get some teeth knocked out. Is everybody clear on that? <laughs> uh, there can be approximately 12 men on a log that weighs about 1,000 pounds. About 1,000 pounds. We like to give direct feedback to the candidates, and this is one of those Oh, yeah, that's direct feedback. <laughs> Just screaming in your face. This is the real deal right away. I ain't gonna lie, man. I looked at Cadre. They were the coolest people on the planet. Oh, for sure. Dude, I saw them walk by me and I was like, yep. mm, See that I just want to be like you, my friend. I want that tab on my shoulder. Dude, it was such a pipe dream at this point. Like, it was so yeah. far away. Oh, yeah. It's so, like I always like had that mindset it was like you got to visualize the end, right? Like visualize yourself getting selected, visualize graduation, but it just seems so distant. Yeah. And I guess it kind of was. It was years about away. two two years for me from selection to graduation. It's a hell of a long job interview. Yeah. Think about it. Did you throw up on, on the rolls? No, I've never thrown up for something like that. I threw up. Really? Fuck yeah, dude. We, we were doing the rolls and I started puking. And I was like, all I remember was this show. And I was like, I don't want to put it in my pocket. So I like <laughs> buried it real quick. <laughs> I was so afraid that someone was going to see me and be like, put it in your pocket, candidate. And I'm like, no. Nah, nah. None of my pocket. <laughs> none, of my, none of my pocket. <laughs> You can't do these exercises. We have something you can't do. The class is an hour into the log drills. See all the Sopsy specials? Boot liners? The, what do you mean? The oh, boot bottoms? Yeah, yeah. The ones that are all like lightweight and yeah. like cut out and everything. Yeah. A voluntary withdrawal means turning in your roster number. Damn, that was quick. Holy fuck. They got four already. We don't need you. <laughs> Pause it, Abel. <Whatever. laughs> That's one thing about this show. They edit the shit out of it to make it look like they're dicks to the guys that quit. No Green Beret is going to be a dick to someone who quit. Like, you're mm -hmm. you're out. There's no reason to be a dick to you. Yeah. So the fact that they edit in, like, we don't need you. <laughs> Go sit over fuck? there, loser. Why would you do that to that guy? He's already quit. He's yep. not going to be in, in the brotherhood. You're not. There's no reason to be a jerk to him. Dude, those guys... Kind of had it made too, like for us. So in Tent City, right on the other side of the fence was where all the the withdrawals were at. Yeah. So at nighttime, like we're all sitting there, like nursing our feet and doing like exhausted from the day, and they're over there, like you can hear them playing cards. Yeah. They're like yeah. having fun. They're laughing. We're like, fuck, man, these guys got it made. They kept that when in the barracks too. So our barracks were for selected was just across, or or guys in was just across from the guys that quit. So they'd be out front playing cards and all yeah. that stuff and like having a good time. And I think they do that on purpose. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you know? yeah it gets the weak minded people You're like, yeah, ah, it's cold. That looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll do that. I'll just quit. But for the record, none of these cadre were dicks to the guys after they quit. That was an editing. Yeah, thing. for sure. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, what'd you do if bears got here? <laughs> Those hurt worse than yelling. Those little, like, <laughs> Those questions. nice questions, like, hey, man, were you really ready for this? Like, oh, don't say that. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> Spread your disease to the rest of the world. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he was so proud of that lineup, man. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, did you hear what I said? <laughs> Dude, we had a guy in uh, the last, the long walk or the last. Yeah, the trek. The trek. And uh, his foot was straight up broken. He limped his ass from the start to the finish. Jesus. I think it was like 25 miles, something like that. Yeah. That's crazy. Like he said, like it's like a wounded animal and the predator yeah. like sees it and it's like, that's the yeah. one. So they're going to target this guy. Next thing you know, they'll probably all be around him. One of your guys from 173rd was in here. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that's crazy. He got selected and then he just never went to the Q course. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Why? Dude, apparently a lot of people do that. They just want to prove that they can get selected and then Damn. they never try the Q course. Did you are you fucking kidding me the whole log dropping? So when I showed up, there was a guy from my basic or from my AIT that was there. And he was like, Oh, my, my unit was about to deploy. And so if I came here, then I didn't have to deploy with him. Wow. And he he didn't even make him do the uh -huh. PT test. Like he failed, I think, on the pull ups. What and I was like, Are you bag. fucking serious? Like Yeah, complete shit bag. Got selected, never went to Q course. Oh god, look at him. <laughs> In the fetal position. <laughs> Watch Abel. This is fucking military sometimes. I think you ought to put it in your pocket. <laughs> Yeah, hash browns is famous. I wonder where he's at now. I know. <laughs> that fucking hash browns guy. Fuck that guy. You're hash stupid. Browns. Uh, I wanna, I wanna go back to PT. You're in the truck about yeah. to drive away to the med station. You had plenty. Of, then you know they asked him plenty of times. Yeah. Like, uh, you wanna do you want to quit? Do yes. you want to quit? Yes, I want. I'm done. I'm done. Now the camera's in his face. Yeah. I want to go back. I want to go back to BT. Like, no, no, you don't. Hash browns. <laughs> Stupid. That shit sucks. What's an M4 way? Throw out some facts, bravo. What's that? What's an M4 way? Oof, that was a <laughs> that was a promotion board question. Here, here comes the comments. <laughs> Stupid. It's 4.6. Y'all fucking bravo. 4.6 pounds. Let me. Yeah, that shit gets real fucking heavy after 100 of these yeah. things. I got it. I think it's, what, 7 pounds? 7 pounds. Woo! Ooh, look at yeah. that! Yeah! The Charlie got it. Look at you. <laughs> so these, Abel, are what we call rubber duckies. So a rubber ducky is basically just a plastic gun. It looks, it weighs the same. Okay. It's just plastic used for training because these things get lost all the time, like left Ooh. all over the woods. We had a guy in selection drop one in his rubber ducky in Scuba Road. Ooh. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, hey, I quit because I dropped it in Scuba Road. I was like, motherfucker, I would sit there and fucking dive yeah. like a duck dive until I found it, like find it with your feet. And you know what the funniest part of about the whole thing was? What's his that? MOS was a diver. <laughs> <laughs> What an idiot. He was, uh, uh, I don't know what those divers do, welding or something, like a regular army diver. Yeah. Like, you don't know how to, you, like, that's what you do, dive and find your rifle. Uh, like, you don't give nope. up. You you push until, like, you. there's no other option. I would have sit there and, and just, like, touch the, the floor with yeah. my feet until I ran out of time. For sure. What are you doing, Canada? They're tired after doing the logging, but they should have been up here ready. Some of them days out to they get the glossed over look on their That's exactly what they're really uh, coherent and know what's going on. Well, yeah, exercise while I talk to you. Do you like attention, Canada? <laughs> Why don't you exercise? Uh, no, you're not. Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just no rhythm at all. No. You know this guy can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> you pause it real quick and get him. <laughs> that guy was so uncoordinated. He's so uncoordinated, but the the funniest part is that he's like trying to have a conversation with the cadre. That's the wrong fucking answer, right? Like, 
figure it out, guy. You just shut up and say, Roger, Sergeant, right. and you keep trying. You don't say, I'm, it's the cadence, Sergeant. I'm trying, Sergeant. Like, shut your fuck up. Oh, just fucking you're do just, it. You're just giving them fuel. Bro. You see what you're just saying? He's, yeah. He's feisty. Feisty. Oh. I don't know what his problem is. Because you guys are fucking useless sometimes. Useless? Useless. Damn. Damn. I've never been useless in my life, sir. Are you doing land right now? Lana, the Ooh. infamous star course, the worst, dude. The thing that probably scares more people about selection than any other Anything part of the else. entire course. I know it scared me. Oh, for sure. Because you can't tough your way through it. You have to figure it out. No, and you're. It's not anything where you can rely on other people. This yeah. is a hundred percent you, pass or fail. Yeah. Like make or break. It's kind of how they tie into like delta selection. It's like it's on you. Delta yeah. is a lot of land now, and that's why this is the hardest portion of our course. That may be why they put so much into Delta selection because it's like, it's just really tough mentally, physically, you're by yourself. You can't yep. rely on anybody else. You have to figure your shit out. So I'll be honest, this in the star course, the first night was the only time that I ever thought about quitting in the Q course. And it was, you know, I the whole life grew up city boy, whatever. And I'm there in the middle of the night in the woods. I remember going down to a draw and I'm like hearing these noises. I'm like, what the fuck? This is like <laughs> Predator was in that draw yeah. to me. And uh, that was the only, I was like, what am I doing? I'm completely out of my element. But even if you quit, like you're still fucking there. So still you stuck. gotta get out. So I was like, I guess I'm going through this. And that was the only time I ever thought about quitting, but obviously got through that. But it, it's, this is a make or break. Like, yeah, land this is it. Sucks, dude. And draws. Navigation. Mm. North Carolina. Those monsters yeah. eat the you alive. Draw monster is real. Yeah. You know, they're cooks, mechanics, people that have never been outdoors, never like. Cooks, mechanics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was a cook. Yo, this guy. He draw. said it was such disdain. I mean, cooks, cooks, mechanics. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I, so a draw is a low lying area. And like, if you're looking at a map, it's a low-lying area. Normally, there's water, a lot of dense vegetation. So going through it, you'll have a point on the other side of the draw. And it's like 100 meters, whatever. It's quick to go straight line. But it takes, it's so thick. You literally can't push through it. Yeah, like, you'll be stuck for hours if you try to go through it. They call it the draw monster. You'll go in. Sometimes you'll come out the opposite or the same way you came in. And you'll get totally disoriented. You won't even realize. Um, so it's quicker to just make a, a course around it. So to go walk the extra distance and go around it. But a lot of times, like if I did it at night, you'll see your point on the other side because they have glow sticks. Mm -hmm. And you'll be like, it's right fucking there. I can make it. And you'll get in there and like 45 minutes later, 30 or an hour later, you're just like, what the fuck? And you'll hear people in there yeah. like cussing. Like you'll go yeah. in there and like there's times where like, you're almost like you're not even touching the ground because it's so thick and just grabbing onto everything like that Catches you're your ruck. It hooks into your ruck. It hooks into everything. You can't move through it. Yeah, you're too you're too big with your rucksack on. So it's yeah. not like with your body you could slip through and like crawl. You got this ruck, and it's like it's not pushing through that vegetation. So yeah, the draw monster will take your lunch. Mm. Gosh <laughs> damn, bro! <laughs> you think because I'm a cook that I can't like handle being dark outside like what a dick well, that was my say. thing man i hated it so weather doesn't play a part in our selection the star course covers over 50 bugs will scare them <laughs> fuck you dude each candidate is given a set of locations i tried to study that map they have 10 hours to play the points are miles apart and well hidden this is a hard chance to see their ability to comprehend and learn that was old school. What is that? That's not even a PBS 14. I don't even know what that is. That's when that FNG uh, land nav kit will come in handy. Mm -hmm. Oh, these fucking apparatuses, man. Dude, they sucked. The apparatuses sucked. The crazy thing with these is, like, it will break down the team dynamic quick. Yeah, that's exactly what... The first to go in... The apparatus is your ability to function as a team. And yeah. that's what they're looking for. Oh, for sure. Because everybody's got the right idea. You know who had a great idea uh, was is Jesse. He had a phenomenal. So Jesse, Jesse, if you're out there, shout out. What's up, dude? Was I thought, he in your selection? Yeah. Oh, nice. So Jesse, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know it's Jesse. So Jesse had a great idea. He was like, let's not build the apparatus here and then push it through the woods. 
let's take the parts and then build it once we get through the woods. Oh, wow. And I was like, that's a smart idea. I was like, hey, guys, I think he's right. And everyone's like, no, 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 fuck that. We're not doing that. So Jesse and I, okay, what, whatever you, if that's what you guys want to do collectively, then that's what we'll do. So, but that's the point is you don't start fucking trying to fight with them yeah. because you think you have the right answer. Whether you have the right answer or not, whatever, you're going to figure out as a team. You got to just move through like, it. Well, that's that moment where it's like, if you're in charge, be in charge. Yeah. And if you have an idea, you can voice it. But I think in that situation, that's one of those where like people are like, oh, I think the cadre wants us to build it here. Like, forget what you think the cadre wants. If yeah. it makes sense, tactically, right. do it. And yeah. that seems like it made sense. I threw that fucking sugar sand. Is classified. It's classified. Each team must figure out how to build a transport vehicle and do it quickly. What looks good on paper isn't always good on the ground. Bro, we would be done. I had a great team. Thank God I had a great team in Team Week. Did you? Yeah, I had a great team. We would be done eating lunch by noon. Oh. And it would be like waiting and waiting. Sun's going down. There's still a team out there. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, dude, those guys have been out there for like <laughs> six more hours than everyone else. If you, it pays to be a winner. Dude, mine, I want to say we had four, enough people for four teams. Or it might have been more, but we were always like one of the last teams to come in and it fucking sucked. Oof. Like our apparatuses are falling apart. It was terrible. Dude, I feel bad for those guys, man. Because the, the worst team was not even close to everybody else. Mm mm. So, so it was no. like all the teams got done relatively the same time, and there was one team that just sucked. Yeah. And every day it's like, all right, we're done. Now we get to kick it because they're going to take so long. Yep. No one else could do anything until they finished. I remember ours, we were bad, but we would finish, and it would be like dark, and the other team, the last yeah. team would be rolling in. It was like, that sucks. So team week, the part with the the Jeep. Yeah. So you're the, for this one, Abel, you're given a Jeep. It has three wheels on it. You're given a bunch of poles and you're given a bunch of like lashings, basically like almost like rope to tie everything. And so we're going and we're pushing this Jeep and you there's that one hill. It's like infamous. Uh, yeah. And it's this thick sugar sand and you got to push it up this hill and we're all going. And the sergeant major from in this show was there watching our team as we're going up. And I was on the back with everybody or with like four of the dudes and we're pushing that apparatus up. And our lashings came loose. Ooh. And when it did, that thing went like the pole, just slammed against the back of the Jeep and just crushed my three fingers right here. Like to the point, like I started screaming, I ripped my thing out. And then uh, the Sergeant Major was there. He's like, candidate 149. It's like, let me see your dick beaters. <laughs> <laughs> and like I pull out my gloves and it's the first time I saw it. And they're just white, like just white. I mean, look dead. And like, uh. there's like, you just see blood coming out from under my nails. Uh. And he's like, can you carry on? I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good, Sergeant Major. I was in so much fucking pain, though. And uh, there was, like, matter inside of my gloves uh, that dried in there. And uh, it was like, oh, it was terrible. Dude, that's disgusting, That, that was bro. miserable. And luckily, that was the, like, the last day of team week, I think. And after that, we went to the trek. So I didn't really have to do anything else with my hands. Uh, but our, it was, like, weeks that, like, the whole recovery, it was bad. It was nasty. If that would have happened any time before, you'd have been out. Oh, for sure. If I had to move, use my arms or hands for anything. Or yeah, the that fucking been... gas can carries. Oh, that would have been game, yeah, game <sighs> over. This team's <laughs> apparatus just kept falling apart. And the cadre is like, fuck it. If, it. if you can't get moving, you're going to have to push it. And so now they had to totally disassemble everything <laughs> and just do it the hard way. worst way to do it. Because now you're not utilizing everybody anymore. It's essentially complete mission failure for uh, these guys. Team four is less than a half a mile from the start. <laughs> A half, <laughs> Yo, a half four. mile from the start and see, they're finishing. They could still. They're within voice distance. <laughs> I don't believe that. You could have done it a little bit quicker and got here and accomplished your mission on time. You failed. Oh. So what does that failure mean? Nothing. Nothing. It's just to get in their heads. Yeah. So all of this, like, there's no known pass or fail guidelines. They just write everything in their notebooks. If you're in a leadership position while you're doing this. They might ding you if you like if you are a shitty leader, they might ding you on that. But honestly, nobody really knows. And uh, it's just all like you said, it's all mental. It just gets in your head. Okay. So, because once you put that much pressure on somebody, they're either gonna 
be motivational and like try to help their their buddies out and do the right thing and keep pushing or they're gonna fucking fall apart be mm -hmm. dicks to everybody that's what they're trying to find you see out. that like the guys that just lose their cool start screaming their heads off yeah. and those guys definitely are like all right non-select here yeah this is a trek yeah. unknown time and distance it's like fuck Dude, the trek sucked my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, man. That shit sucked. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, I, I hated the that. trek, dude. Dude, the trek was terrible. I fucking hated the trek. I was so miserable. Luckily, I linked up with some uh, another dude. I don't know if he ended up getting selected or not. I never saw him again, but he was tough, man. And he would fucking he would get motivated. And I'd chase him. And then he would slow down, and I would get motivated, and he'd chase me. And we did that shit all the way to the end. Was yours a loop, or was it out and back? No idea. So ours, we did a loop, and we had done the, this loop before. So we estimated ours was about 10 miles, 10 to 12 miles. So what we did either 20 to 22 miles. Oh, okay. I was gonna or 20 say, to 24 you, miles for a trek. I thought you said the total was 10 miles. No, no, we had to do it twice. So the first time, like, we do the loop, and we're coming in. And we're like, bro, like they shortened it for us. Like we're about yeah. to finish. And then we see guys like, cause we went through camp through tent city. Yeah. And then we see the guys going out the other end and we're like, fuck, we're doing it again. Yeah. I listened to a Sopsy guy. And so Sopsy is the 18X, the buildup. They have more knowledge cause you guys go through yep. like all the land nav before we get there. So the regular army guys are at a disadvantage uh, to Sopsy guys, the 18Xs. And one of the 18Xs was like, Dude, I know the course we just took. He goes, we're at, it, we did probably about 24 to 26 miles. Yep. Sopsy guys are a wealth of knowledge. Yeah. But ours, so we, I went through in January. We started, I think, January 4th. Um, and, but it was an unseasonably warm January. But the day of the trek was the first day that it was actually cold, mm -hmm. it was like super cold that day. And so we're going, we're doing the trek. We finished our first loop and I was getting a hot spot on my foot. Ooh, no, no. And I was no. like, this is like, I have to take care of this. And like, I was able to, I thought we were going to finish. So I was like, oh, we're good. Once I realized that we're doing it again, I was like, I have to stop and take care of this. So after we got through Tent City, I stopped. I dropped my rug, took my boot off, um, put some moleskin on because I was getting a blister at that point. But my hands, it was so cold. My hands froze up Oof. and I could not. Like, I didn't have the dexterity to get my boots, like, back on and get everything tied. Oh, and, like, no. I just sat there and I'm, like, trying, like, blowing on my hands, like, putting them in here, like, trying to warm them up. Finally, like, I was almost to the point where I was, like, I'm going to fail now because I can't get my boot on. And uh, finally, I got them to be able to move just a little bit. I tied my boot the best I could and started going again. Damn. But it was like, would you have asked somebody for help? Like somebody walking by, like, please. Help that me was like the boot. next step for yeah, sure. I would ask for sure. Like, dude, please help me put my boot on, please. So I remember that guy, Joe, I was talking about earlier, the Ranger, uh, when I was going through, like I would go on like a cycle where I would run for, I forget, I would count steps, like a hundred steps. I would run hundred steps. I'd walk hundred steps. I'd run. Yeah. And this guy, I remember every time I looked back, it was like Michael Myers in those like Halloween <laughs> movies. <laughs> Cause he, he never ran. He just walked. And like, no matter what I did, I'd look back and there he is. <laughs> I'm like running, running, look back, there he is. I'm running, running. He's just stayed there the whole time. But I uh, was I was the consistent pace guy. You were, yeah, that was like Joe. You know what's funny is, uh, so we're doing the trek, a fucking cadre rode by in his truck and he goes, make sure you eat, candidate. And he looked at, he told me that. He's like, make sure you, because I was fucking hustling, dude. Yeah. I was doing that steady trek, just <laughs> I don't know, maybe I look pale or something. He goes, make sure you fucking eat candidate and then peels off. And I was like, all right, he's right. I'm going to, I'm going to fucking get some chow in real quick. Just shovel it. The, I took my ruck off, sit down. Another cadre drives up, different cadre goes, the fuck you doing candidate? You got time to eat. And I was like, gosh, damn it. And I got back up and I didn't eat. And then I kept going. You know, what's funny is he probably told him. He was like, yeah, hey, I just told this guy to eat. Come up and give him some shit. As soon as my ruck came off, that truck pulls up and he's fucking screaming uh, at me. I'm like, shit. They probably did that yeah, <laughs> to probably. multiple people. That was like their thing. The class is down Dude, that sucks though when this starts because you have no idea. Yeah. I started, the minute we started off, I felt so bad. Yeah? Yeah, and that's like, this is scary when it starts off bad. Yeah. 
Especially knowing that it's at least 20 yeah. miles. I'm not going to have to look around to make sure that he is there. He's that individual that's going to do it on his own. He's parking it. Once them legs go straight, he's gone. <laughs> Six miles in. Six miles in and you sit down? You got to suck it up, man. Yeah, figure it the fuck Close out. Close your eyes while you're walking. Have you done that? Me. I've done that before. Now. The old ranger school deal? Oh, yeah, just droning out. Just close your eyes while you're walking. Oh, no. <laughs> He's oh, fuck. Special Forces career is slipping away fast. Yes, it is. That's a, that's a done, son. You better find that bitch. the search of his life. He just got a whole new appreciation for being a Green Beret. He's, too. he's completely awake right yeah, now. He's, he's like, wide awake. <laughs> I was I was just praying, Sarge. Hey, it's broken. I think so. Why do you think that? Cracks when I walk. Not sure what the issue is with the Sarge. Don't you think it'd be better if you just pushed through it? <laughs> It's one of those, it's tough. It's like you're at the end. Yeah. Like, we, just get it done. I say, like, push through. I don't know how much pain he's actually in, but I mean. This, course, this, course, this, the end of the entire this is the last yeah, thing. This is the doing. last thing you do. And we literally, I had a captain in my class, full out broken foot. And he started limping the minute we started. And everyone was like, dude, are you good? He's like, I'll get it. Yeah. He limped his ass all the way through it. Go heal. So I remember getting back to the tent after that. I'll never forget that. It was to drop that ruck and just be like, fuck, it's over. Mm. And then walk to the million dollar shitters. And we went like, like just barely like limping the whole way. Like, Everybody's done. limping after that. We're yeah. done. And so they, so million dollar shitters was what they called the uh, bathroom that they built at Camp McCall. The nice bathroom. Yeah. It was it, all the toilet. It was just like prison. Like if you watch movies about prison and the toilets are all aluminum mm -hmm. and like there's no like seats or anything. That, that was exactly what we had out there. But they called them the million dollar shitters. There was a bunch of stalls. And then there was, you know, the big group shower where everybody showered together. Which is a good time if you haven't done that. Oh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> the camaraderie that's built in a shower, a communal shower, Abel. It's incredible. Or talking while you're on the shitter. Yep. You're not allowed to sleep. So when you go to those tents after all these events, you're exhausted. You can't sleep until they tell you you can sleep. So if like if you're asleep at any time KJ could walk in there and they would open the door and if you're sleeping they just pull out their notebook and just write. Oh, it was all crazy. For nothing. So Tent City there's like 15 20 tents. They're all full at the beginning of selection. As people quit you have to move to a new tent cuz they consolidate down. By the end there's like four or five tents that are occupied. Don't get selected. All right, first thing I want Congratulations, you guys made it to the end of the selection course. All right. <laughs> we didn't get that speech either. No. Our, our selection was different than this. Gosh, damn, you forget how important it is to get to that point. I know, man. I, like, I was so happy to reach this point. Like, this moment makes me, like, it brings me back to yeah. how important that moment was for us. These guys are looking around like, that guy's a shitbag. I hope I'm not yeah. in that group. Was yours like this? No. We we're, stood outside. Yeah, ours, we were all outside, yeah, and they like called it. us in one by one. And then the people, as they came out, like, you get selected? And they're like, yeah. Or they'd be like, no. Nah. Yeah. And like, and that was it. This one is a lot more dramatic, so I think they did it for I TV. I think they did it for the show. Because he called me up. He called my number. He's like, you want the long version or the short version? I was like, short version, please. And he's like, you got selected. Get the fuck out of here. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, I said, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And I fucking ran away. Mine, they called me in and it was like, he didn't give me the option long or short. He was just like, you weren't good at this. You weren't good at this. He was like, but you're, he was like, physically, you're like on the borderline. Um, you're medic. You scored high on this. You scored high on this. So we need medics right now. And we're going to give you another chance. Damn. And I was like, 
So does that mean I got selected? Like I'm thinking I'm like I gotta come back and do it again. Yeah. I was like, so did I get selected? He's like, yeah, you got selected. And I was like, oh, <laughs> like you could have just said that from the beginning. I don't. I maybe they recognized that I wasn't like strong enough to handle that speech. And I was just like, <laughs> fuck it, just tell this kid. The Dude, answer. they had all these like chart. It was like a Zen diagram with like the three circles, and he's like, show me all this stuff. And I remember in my mind, I'm just like looking for select or non-select on the paper. That's all I cared about. Damn. And then when he told me, and finally, I'm like, okay, fine. I got selected. Perfect. Yeah, he didn't want to deal with me. He's like, I don't feel like talking about it. Let's go. <laughs> that was the most terrifying moment. Dude, I just paced back and forth the whole time. Two, two, four, two, four. Last guy right there. Make sure that door's shut. So knowing that we can't select everybody, we're giving you the opportunity to continue your SF training. Which means... <laughs> yeah, they're like, what does that mean? So what people... One thing that's important to realize about this is they get they got selected but all that means is that they're allowed to continue on because selection basically doesn't stop until the end of the q course so you can many always people get fail dropped the q course. so many people fail the more q people course. probably fail the q course than fail selection yeah. yeah it's not just a commitment but it's a way of life so you need to be committed to that way of life and that day starts today mm. that's it bro